Hello, I'm Thomas from game for automation I would like to show you in this short tutorial how PLC SIM Advance from Siemens can be connected to Unity. This is very useful for virtual commissioning of PLC code based on the 3D digital twin, which can be created with the Game for Automation framework in Unity. We have three software packages in this setup. First of all, it's the Game for Automation framework based on Unity for developing the digital machinery twin. Second of all, it's PLC Sim Advanced, which is the virtual PLC from Siemens. And third of all, PLC Sim Advanced is programmed as a normal PLC with the TIA portal, which is also from Siemens. First, we are creating a PLC Sim Advanced instance, which we are going to call Conveyor PLC, and we will start it. When the PLC lamp is getting green, the PLC is started. Like now. <clears throat> Next, we get into our PLC project where we configured uh, S7 1500. And now we will add some uh, variables for holding the inputs and outputs. The first one is CAN conveyor sensor, and the second one is CAN conveyor start for starting the conveyor and we add a third uh, speed value to the table. We need to give them the right address for outputs and also the right data type for the speed and the right address for the speed. We are now going to transfer this very simple first PLC configuration to the virtual PLC in PLC Advanced. Now it's loaded. Now we need to add the PLC signals to our project. As you can see, the conveyor is still not running and the cans are not transported to the pick position. We are first adding a new PLC SIM Advanced interface to the project with the menu. And we need to give the PLC SIM Advanced interface the name of the PLC SIM instance, which is in this case Conveyor PLC. Now we are able to import the signals. And the signals will be generated automatically in the signal view. To get the model running, we need to connect the signals to the behavior models. So first we connect the signal can conveyor start to the forward bit of the conveyor drive. And next we connect the sensor collision signal with the CAN conveyor sensor signal. That's all we need to do. What we still miss is to create a PLC program. We are going to create a very simple PLC program. So first, um, based on the knot of the CAN conveyor sensor, we are going to start the drive. That's why we connect here the CAN conveyor start bit. That's all we need to do for controlling the drive and we can transfer the new code and software uh, to the virtual PLC in PLC SIM Advanced. Let's load it and it's ready. I'm now starting the PLC and going to online mode. So we now see the PLC status. Let's start the simulation. On the right hand side you see that PLC Sim Advance is connected because the simulated PLC seconds are running up and the conveyor belt is controlled as planned. In the online mode we can watch the behavior of the program. 
and we can watch the status of our input and output variables in the table for the variables. I'm arranging the windows a little bit so that we can see everything on the screen, this to the left, and the PLC program to the right. Now we can see everything, the variables, the PLC program and the 3D scene. Thanks a lot. Please check our website for more information and you can also download there the solution for free. Bye bye.